name's Evelyn and welcome to Fairy Tales with Evie. Um, last time we read the Egyptian Cinderella. It was it was an awesome fairy it was an awesome fairy tale. But and today we'll be reading we'll be reading Go Delicious. So let's get started. This is Go Delicious by Victoria Kim. Pages. Okay, here. I was putting flowers on the man of my pet unicorn. Hey, delicious! Why are you dropping flowers on the rug? I flowers. Ask mommy. I'm not dropping flowers. I'm getting Goldie ready for the unicorn ball. I said, prancing around the room. What unicorn? I don't see any unicorn. Said so Peter, she's right here. And she's not any unicorn. She's my unicorn. Her name is Goldilicious. Goldie for short. Oh, Goldie, you shouldn't have done that on the floor. You mutter. Just tonight when you need to go to the potty. I'm sorry, Peter, but you are stepping right in it. to have an imaginary friend, but maybe it's time to put Goldie back in her stall or take her outside the house where she can run free. Okay, Mommy, come on, Goldie. We know where we are, aren't wanted. I said, galloping out the door. I took, I took Goldie out to perfect her pink horrific pirouette. Goldie is very graceful and has a wonderful sense of balance. We are just thinking of joining the Majestic Magenta Ballet, but there are only a few extremely special and unique people who can see Goldie, namely me. Goldie is also a pink-tastic roller skater, kite flyer, and eye jumper. She's very fast. I can never keep up with her. Goldie, wait for me. Goldie, where are you? She loves to play hide and seek, but she's too quick for me. As soon as I spot her, she's gone. Oh, you turned into a fairy princess and you're having a tea party. Goldie, delicious. This is the most delicious cake I've ever had. And where did you find the sweet flower nectar? Ask Pinklicious, may I join your party? Ask, please, Pete. please, Peter. You're going to, Peter, please, Peter. You are about to sit on Goldie. Be careful, I scolded. Here's a little cinnamon stick for your tea, said Peter. That is a worm. Now you have insulted our host. You better. Because Goldie will always protect me, I shouted. Not if I kidnap her and hold her prisoner in the cast tower. Beware, fair sister, or your golden pet will become broth from my magical cauldron. Peter yelled from the treehouse, Don't worry, Goldie, I will rescue you. From the wandering wizard, I said, Pink delicious, you must gaze into this crystal ball as I cast a spell, Peter chanted as he threw the ball over the side of the treehouse. Abracadabra, Abracazan, Abra, Abracadin, wizard out, pirate in. Now he's a pirate. Ahoy, go delicious. You will never break. Ahoy, matey, go delicious. Well, Holy maybe go delicious will never become your treasure. Treasure, I will make you walk the plank. Sadly, I realize that delicious was nowhere to be seen. Go delicious. Hey, oh, hey, Peter, where did she go? <gasps> Look, she turned into a mermaid. Peter pointed to go delicious. Oh, that's her, just her dress up outfit. She's not a real mermaid. She's just pretending. Did I skip a page? Oh, here we go. Wow, not only.
only can she float in water, she can float in the air. Galicious is flying, said Peter. Come back, I screamed. Will she come back tomorrow? I'm going to find my lasso so I can catch her in the morning. When I wake up, it's... When I wake up, said Peter. That's if you can find her. Yeah, just Peter ran, ran off. Goldie, where did you go? Have you became one with the universe? Hey, delicious, it's time to go to bed. Come in now, the voices from the door. Perhaps Goldie is hiding from the mean sorcerer, sorcerers who have came. You have came to take me to the dungeon, so loudly. Pink delicious, we heard that. Oh, pardon me, I meant Sir Daddy and Lady Mommy Rulers. Rulers Supreme and Gaseous Guardians of the Princess of Pink. Now! Okay, okay, I'm coming to bed. And I don't know where Goldie is, and she will miss me if I don't pet her good night. Oh, she was right there waiting for me all along, I said, climbing into bed and closing her eyes. Sweet dreams, see you tomorrow, Mommy. And Daddy said, kissing us both goodnight. I love that book. It's one of my favorite books. I really like it. Because if you have an imaginary friend, always try to hold on to them. Even if they get a little loose sometimes. My, my, my imaginary friend is, I don't remember her name. Starts with an A. Ah. Abigail. Abigail Butcher. <laughs> I have her last name. Yay! And she's she's my ghost friend. She lives in the attic. I love that book. So thank you so much for listening. Keep watching. Keep reading. Bye!